we're going to look at how to include checkboxes in Google Sheets. Here's my scenario. I've got invoices. If I tick an invoice as paid, it shows it in a different color. And over here, it gives us a summary of invoices paid and unpaid and the total amounts paid or unpaid. As I tick different invoices, these automatically update. How do we include checkboxes in our Google Sheets spreadsheet? The trick here is to use data validation. So what we do is we select the cells that we want the checkboxes to appear in. We go to the data tab, data validation, criteria. From that drop down, choose tick box and then click on save. That gives you your checkboxes. Now the key to understanding how these checkboxes work is to look in the formula bar. If I tick a checkbox, can you see up on the formula bar it says true? If I untick a checkbox, it says false. So these checkboxes are returning a value, true or false, within these cells. But to get the invoice row to change color, when this tick box is ticked, I can use conditional formatting. And I can say, apply the formatting if the value in column F is true. So let's select all these cells. To use conditional formatting, you go to Format, Conditional Formatting. Under Format Rules, select Custom Formula Is. That's right at the bottom of the list. And in this box here, you need to type a formula. Now, the formula is actually written for the first cell that you selected. And that's this cell here, B3. You can see it has a kind of blue border around it. And our formula is equals F3 equals true. We're asking the question, does F3 contain the value true? Okay, so now I've got my formula. I'm going to choose some formatting. I'm going to change the background color of the cells. Let's have it as a blue background and we'll have white text. If I click on done, and now I'm going to tick my first checkbox. You can see that rather disappointingly, only formats the first cell in this row. So why is this happening? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back and edit my conditional formatting. So it's still here. I'm going to click on it. And the problem here is with our formula. Now, what you need to understand is that this formula has been written for the active cell. That formula is then copied across each row and down each column. Now, at the moment, when the formula gets copied across to column C, it will no longer reference F3. It will reference G3. When it gets copied across to column D, it will no longer reference F3, it will reference H3. And none of those cells have the value true in them. But what I need to do is tell Google Sheets that I always want to look for the value true in column F. I need to lock the F. And I can do that by just putting a dollar in front of the F. And now you can see it applies that formatting to the whole of that row. If I tick the other rows, it also applies the formatting to the whole of those rows. Okay, so we finished with conditional formatting. Let's now go on to these calculations over here. I'm just going to zoom out a little bit, give ourselves a bit more space. Number of invoices that have been paid. Now for this calculation, I can use a function called COUNTIF. This has two arguments, range and criterion. Range is where we're counting. We're counting in the paid column, comma, and our criterion is the word true. Three invoices have been paid. If I tick another invoice, the count goes up to four. Unpaid, count if. Again, I count in this range. And this time, my criterion is false. Invoice amounts, the total sum paid now for that, I would need to add up the amounts where we have true in the paid column. The function for this is called sum if. Our range is the column that we are applying our criterion to. So that'd be the paid column. Our criterion is true. And our sum range is the amount column. That gives me a total sum paid. Unpaid, sum if. Range would again be the paid column. Criterion is false. 
and the sum range is the amount column. Again, if I tick or untick invoices, these calculations automatically update. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please subscribe and give me a like. I'll see you next video.